where is a good spot? Only I could have a nice high camera angle. Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Better not spend too much time working on my camera angle this morning. Time is a luxury I do not have today. Woman just went into the cafeteria. It's Monday morning. I'm right outside uh, uh, the cafeteria here in Yellowstone Park, the employee cafeteria. I am finishing up what I consider the marathon work schedule that I had my very first week uh, here serving tables in uh, Yellowstone. And I'm working the breakfast shift after working the dinner shift last night and the lunch shift yesterday, which is kind of part of the course. Before I get into all that, though, I'm going to say good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Uh, my name is Ken Tracy. I don't have a very pretty view for you, but I have very little time to find the perfect view. And this is Coffee with Ken. Uh, it is Monday morning. It is June 3rd. It is 6.06 a.m., Happy uh, Monday. I think Monday are the days most people dread on the calendar. And as a guy that's waiting tables right now, they all kind of blur together. Good morning, Zavigo. Uh, they kind of all blur together. And day is night and night is day. And Monday is Friday and Sunday is Wednesday. Good morning, E. Friedman and Yanni. Uh, bank holiday Monday in Ireland good for those bankers working in Ireland. But anyway, um, yeah, this is a show I've been doing for about five years, and it is a show, hello from Australia, about me uh, talking and sharing some experiences. But for those that have been watching a while, you know it's not just a show about me talking. For those that have been watching a while, you also know it's a show about me sharing my love of coffee. <laughs> I'm going to have to get some sort of coffee maker for my room, brew my own coffee, because... Although I do enjoy any coffee, I long for the rich taste of the Sumatra or the, I don't know, what am I going to do in August when the pumpkin spice season starts and I'm going to still be drinking cafeteria coffee. Those are going to be days of sadness for me. And we don't like days of sadness. This is a show about some positivity and smiles. So let's focus on the blessings that we have. And I have a blessing in front of me that is this hot cup of coffee. And I'm excited to have my first sip. Oh, I'm drinking it black. My hope is that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you got a hot cup of coffee in front of you as well. Cheers to us. Oh. Oh. Going to need a lot of coffee this morning. It's going to be hard to do while I'm working. I start work in seven minutes. Yes, seven minutes. And I finished work about seven hours ago. Didn't leave a whole lot of time for sleep or showering or shaving this bald head, eating, <laughs> reading, working out, expanding my uh, spiritual endeavors, uh, or connecting with friends and family. Uh, but I've learned over the last seven days, uh, I don't know what I've learned. I've learned I worked 70 hours in the last seven days. What's the restaurant specialties? I don't know if we have specialties. My favorite thing would be the rack of lamb or maybe the pork chops or the New York strip. I'm kind of a meat eater. Um, but um, I'm finishing up a long series of seven days after a, about a six-day drive across the country from Chicago to uh, Yellowstone. There's been several times, several moments where I've gone, oh crap, I got to go to work today, or oh crap, I'm tired, or oh crap, this sucks. Uh, but I, I, what's cool about my whole doing this show is I've learned to catch myself and think about how good the hot water and the shower feels, or how lucky I am to be on the last shift of my marathon stretch, or, uh, 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 just find my blessings and count, you know, or count my blessings and find my gratitude. Uh, cause I tell you what, it's done an amazing job for me to keep a smile on my face. 
And life is so much better uh, when you can have a good attitude and you can, when you can be smiling and when you can be saying good morning to your coworkers who are all long in the face and dreading their shift today. And it's not like I'm not a little bit dreading my shift because this is kind of harder work than I remembered. And I'm a guy with an active mind and a very kind of jumpy body and uh, waiting tables can be really stressful for me. You're multitasking like nobody's business and uh, you're running around and trying to keep people happy and uh, uh, trying to stay sane while you're doing it. And sometimes that can be a challenge for me. It's been hard on my body. It's been hard on my mind at times. Uh, But I am uh, blessed to have this work that's going to pay me pretty well. It's going to give me a crazy amount of hours. And I am so blessed to have the next two days, two and a half days after the shift. I don't have to work lunch or dinner, and I'm looking forward to that. My plans for the day, because I know you guys want to know my plans. After finishing this shift and getting out of here about 11 o'clock today, I want to get a P.O. box so uh, my friends and family can mail me something. (laughs) <laughs> Several people asked for my address, and I don't want to send it to the main employee area. There's a post office in the park where I'm at, and I think it'd be fun to get my very first P.O. box. Don't even know how that works, but I'll find out. And uh had another big plan. It wasn't that big of a plan, but I hope to enjoy my afternoon. And, uh, yeah, I got to run in uh, one more sip of coffee. It's kind of a cloudy, a little breezy day uh, here in Yellowstone. One of my favorite things about Yellowstone, I think, I mean, obviously the scenery is beautiful. The weather's awesome in the mountains because the, uh, uh, it's just kind of crisp and the humidity's uh, minimal. So when it's in the 30s, it kind of feels refreshing. And when it's in the 80s, it's probably not going to feel that uh, uh, hot. And I'm enjoying it. I'm having a great time. I hope you're enjoying your morning. I hope you're enjoying your coffee. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I hope you are feeling good. I hope you are loving yourself. I hope you're forgiving yourself. And uh, one more sip of coffee. I hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.